Okay. We are back. Another week has flown by, brother. Seven a lucky number bells for a brand new progressive discussions. You already know who we are because there happens to be an intro at the beginning of this show. No. Three, three. <laughs> well, I have to I have to announce these things because you know, nowadays in, in America nowadays in America, them dog people out of there that uh, that have showed up for all the Trump rallies, they got to be explained to in a very simple manner. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll say that, son. I say, I will say. Well, I just wanna. I, I I love having a a complete intro and a complete well done promo because it saves me the job of uh, 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 additional energy expenditure coming from my mouth. It, 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 it saves me energy for important things for the show, like educating you knuckleheads out there, you numbskulls, and my funny uh, uh, unplanned jokes, unrehearsed and unplanned. This is a very grassroots revolution, uncensored, Progressive talk show, as you can see, don't expect a state-of-the-art studio. This is grassroots, all right? We don't owe any favors to any sponsors. Unlike other progressive uh, internet talk shows who, uh, who make a ton of money, probably. I think, I think Sank uh, Iker, Euchre, uh, uh, Mr. Toik. The Toik, the young Toik, I think he has sponsors. I think he makes a buck here and there. That's why he's got that studio. Anyway, that's how you do it. I don't like the way he uh, he uh, 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 savagely defended uh, the Hillary Clinton campaign hey. against Alex Jones of Infowars and was very rude to Alex Jones and the and his friend when they uh, dropped in on his show. You know, he's a little, uh, eh. People on, on my Facebook group call him a progressive, a fellow progressive warrior, but he's a little. Who's a progressive warrior? He's a little warrior. suck up. Uh, Sank or? Sank uh, Euchre, uh, Iker. You're not, you're okay. not a progressive warrior if you uh, suddenly uh, switch your allegiance uh, to uh, uh, Hillary Clinton. You're not a progressive warrior. You're a progressive warrior when you see that Bernie Sanders folded like a cheap camera and you pledge your allegiance to the Green Party and Jill Stein. Then you, you are a progressive warrior. Unfortunately, Jill Stein got no... F got. You might as well say she, 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 received no, she received no mainstream media face time or nor was her name really mentioned. I saw one mainstream, I believe it was mainstream commercial, and that was it. Only, uh, what's her name, Amy Goodman of uh, Democracy Now! She's the only one that talked, that plugged, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, promoted. Plug doesn't sound too cool. That well, promoted call it, anyway. Jill Stein. Yeah. Otherwise, nothing. I mean, and Mr. Baraka, her, Baraka, <coughs> her uh, VP choice. Him, I don't. I didn't know nothing about at all. Period. Yeah. Now, of course, uh, you know, if Bernie would have uh, um, went to Jill Stein, he probably uh, they did make him that offer to be um, to run under the Green Party with Jill Stein as the VP, and he uh, he blew them off, just like he blew off Ralph Nader. And I was watching Bernie Sanders recently on The View, and uh, he has a new book out. Which looks really good, but, but you know, he, you know, when they mention Hillary, he says, "Oh, I worked my my tail off mm -hmm. campaigning for her." Now, why work your tail off, your tail off, campaigning for someone that you thoroughly exposed? Because that's where the people were. 
In other words, That's he was dealing about, you know? he was dealing with that old fashioned we gotta settle for the lesser of the two evils. No, that never even entered into it. People. What do you mean people? The Democratic Party had all the people. Yeah, the, Bill the, Stein, the, the Green Party don't have the all people. the all the gays and lesbians were on uh, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton's side. So yeah, that yeah, was, that, was a that matter was, of population. That was her mouthpiece. You know, that's right. They're still demanding that um, they kick Trump out because Hillary uh, received the popular vote. Well, they are. I don't know how well it's going to go, but they are actually going to look at getting rid of the electoral college. And they should get rid Finally. of. Finally, they should. The, the crooked DNC should get rid of the uh, super delegates. Did you know that super delegates? That too. But did you know that uh, the fact of the matter is that a presidential candidate can actually get five. I don't know the exact number. Five or ten states and actually win because of the because of the electoral college because of the damn electoral car the outdated damn now for instance also electoral college california clinton won california by two million votes but they go on counted because she won the state and that was it that's all she gets out of it and all these all these legions these these massive multitudes of people it showed up at the Bernie Sanders rallies nationwide. <clears throat> None of them came out in angry protests when Bernie Sanders got screwed by uh, the rigged primaries from the crooked DNC. Oh no, nobody came out. But now, Hillary supporters are, are screaming bloody murder. I don't see, I don't see the, uh, the former Bernie Kratz out there protesting how the system was rigged. Maybe a lot of them did protest by not voting. You mean uh, uh, apathy, like they did? Well, in, they wanted Bernie. Like they did in, in November of two thousand and fourteen. Apathy. Well, what was it? Two, uh, one third of Americans did not vote. Something well, like only, that. Only, uh, only about six. Uh, uh, one hundred and twenty-three. <sighs> wait a minute. Six and say yeah. About one hundred and twenty-three million people only voted. I don't know how many registered there are, but it's got to be a lot a more than that. Numbskulls. I swear, Americans today have to be <clears throat> the most, the dumbest waste of sperm that were, was ever conceived in a womb. Especially down south. They don't use. No, well, yeah. Well, when, uh, well, Hillary got all the southern states because of her of her husband. No, she didn't. She lost them all. No, no. And I mean, I'm I'm still talking about Bern, uh, Bernie Bird. Oh. Uh, the, the primary. primary, yeah. Now, now, now. Of course, um, like Bernie Sanders says, they had, they were all Joy, Joy Behar, and they were all asking him, "Why did this happen?" Especially Joy Behar. You know, she, why did this happen? Explain. Why did this happen? Well, he say, he said, "Well, the, the, uh, uh, Donald Trump touched a nerve with the American people." Uh, uh, the uh, people that were, were angry and frustrated and you know I mean uh, I would say of course emotion played a factor in Donald Trump getting the well election. exactly yeah because uh, uh, where were the details about making America great again I mean, what does that mean you mean how he's gonna do it yeah he never really mentioned exactly it. well now now he's uh, he's making me nervous uh, 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 based on the, uh, uh, the first three picks, the choices of his <laughs> new cabinet. Yeah. Today he was playing golf with uh, Mitt Romney, who you know, of course, they talk bad about each other during the campaign. Oh, but yeah. He's thinking oh. of making Mitt Romney the Secretary of State because Giuliani is too aggressive to be check, check, Secretary of State. He wants somebody calmer, with non non confrontational personality. Okay. I don't think there's anybody like that in the Trump camp. <laughs> I'm confused, really. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm waiting for uh, him to give Chubsy Ubsy a job. Uh, Chubsy Ubsy has been pushed aside by uh, the Trump kitty kids. Chubsy. They don't like. Remember, Christie prosecuted Kushner's father back when. Kushner. The husband of Ivanka. 
the Jew. Oh, you mean, so what you're saying is, is Donald Trump, uh, like the Hillary people, they're, they're kind of kiss-ass when it comes to Manhattan, rich Manhattan Jews? No, and I'm they, saying and, and I bet revenge. They can, and I bet they control Wall Street, too. Revenge. Oh, uh, old politics. Getting back at Christie. Basic uh, politics. For par yeah, for uh, prosecuting tit, the old man. Tit for tat and, you know, and... So he's been being pushed aside. Well, Chris Christie at that time was doing his job. And like Trump would probably say, hey, it's only business, right? And he's got a lot of conflicts coming up, believe me. Holy mackerel! Listen, the can his campaign was a, a combination of the largest reality show and horror movie combined. And now, unfortunately, the beginning of his presidency is also a huge reality show. And I, honestly, I don't think he expected to win. You know, you might be right there. Even though he said we're gonna we're gonna clean house, we're gonna win, we're gonna win. I, I'm gonna I, drain the swamp. First of all, you don't drain the swamp. You know how many a, a creatures? I'm taking a bigger swamp. You know how? No, no, no. I, I like clean out the barn better. <laughs> H. Ross Perot's clean out the barn. When you drain the swamp, you know how many a, a creatures depend on marshlands and swamps for their survival. Well, yeah. Well, you don't drain the swamp. You protect. Uh, natural habitats. But they don't believe in the EPA. Oh or yeah, that's another change. thing. Tr you know. Now Trump is like uh, 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 siding with the climate change uh, deniers. Yeah. Well, he was. All he better. Time. He better listen closely to the scientists, just like Bernie Sanders said on the View. He better listen to the right people for advice. Well, the Republicans don't believe in science. And he, they and believe in their ideas of religion. Yeah, money. Worship of money. Well, whatever. Idolatry. Their yeah. religion. And you know? their gourd, their their demonic uh, cult gourd, uh, 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 that's Archie Bunker talk, will take care of their, them if, if a crisis comes up. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, they, 35, uh, the, the, the temperature of uh, the North Pole yeah. is 35 degrees. Lower. Lower than normal. That's correct. While uh, a friend of mine from up the street was here the other day, and we were discussing the Northwest Passage, which is now open up there. The boats can go through because of the, stuff, of the melting and stuff. Well, it's not okay. just the sea levels rising. It's uh, the um, many of the polar bears are starving. Uh, and and and, and they get caught on ice floes. And the ones that are not caught on ice floes are are migrating to uh, northern Canada with the um, if they make it living amongst the um, the Kodiak bears, the brown bears, and grizzlies inter intermingling with them and uh, and you know it's um, like uh, like the documentary said, bears and people don't mix. I saw a video the other day of a of a uh, polar bear hmm. with a dog. Friendly. They were friends. Until the polar bear decides. It's a little hungry, maybe. It's a little hungry. It's probably a very well-fed polar bear. Yeah. Well. You know. That anyway, dictates that. Here, if you're wondering what this Rodan-looking skeleton of a bird is, this is what's left of the Bernie Sanders bird. The Bernie bird, you know, I mean, the poor thing. A little emaciated. Yeah, come here, little Bernie bird. Let me see if his, his spirit is is with us. Poor little Bernie bird. He, Bernie's the one who flew the coop. Okay. But uh, <coughs> he's not affiliated with the Democratic Party, I'll tell you right now. Let me see if his spirit is here. No, there's two independents in, in the Senate no, right now. Oh, he's here. He, he's a big fan of our show. Oh, good. Yeah, I know it's an insane asylum. The United States government, the uh, the whole thing is a mess. Despicable, debacle, corruption, rigged elections, people, yeah, spineless, yeah, yeah. The uh, mm -hmm. the grassroots roots revolution, 
we the people in the grassroots revolution are spineless because they're not being heard they're not getting out there and um, yeah we know there's plenty of them and that's about it apathy no balls right yep no balls no balls no coyotes. No coyotes. No, uh, you know, I mean. Gravitas. I mean. Yeah, I know. I know the 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 the, the, the grassroots revolution. Bernie Kratz could have flocked, no pun intended, to Jill Stein uh, at the Green Party. Yes, I I would. You know, I'm very a uh, Bernie bird, uh, and and everybody else. I'm very happy that we have a Green Party of New Jersey now. I think the Green Party because of Jill Stein got one in New York, is growing yeah. is there yeah well grandpa remember he got the 50,000 people oh he was a Green him. Party man yeah. grandpa Al Lewis yeah. the late grandpa Al Lewis he got them on the permanent ballot the, 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 the grandpa Munster oh wow well uh, uh, the great um, Ralph Nader was uh, ran under the Green Party also hmm. you know and um, um, how many states he got on the ballot? I don't know. You know, well, because he only got two hundred eighty thousand. Well, votes. Uh, since you're dealing with nincompoops in this country, nincompoops. Uh, the the person that is most qualified and most intelligent and most the best person for the job, uh, it, it's like um, being in a casino. It's like gambling. The the best person for the job does not necessarily get. Uh, the the highest percentage of the po in the polls. No, you because you know why? Because when like Donald Trump now or any president, if if he's going to hire people, he wants people he can manipulate. So you're not going to get the best people. Oh, it's like uh, as oh. the Bible says, God, God uh, 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 gives government the basis of people. Oh, it's like uh, it's like a corporate American CEO. They play office politics. That's right. Yeah. Office games. You uh, you crawl up far up my ass, and I'll treat you right. But but when they treat you right, like Bill Morrow keeps on saying, oh, the best one in 2016 what, was Carly Fiorina. I says I heard what? I heard she did not. She did not work wonders for Hewlett Packard like like you they think. They kicked her out. He says they kicked her out because she was female and, and the whole board was male. Oh, Jesus Christ. She, they he kicked says her out because she drove the damn thing into the ground. Well, how come Bill Morrow is insisting that... Because he doesn't have all the information. He says they... He, she he watches Fox News. He says she... No, he watches CNN. And CNN. Well, he, yeah, there he, he goes. He said too. that the, her, Carly Fiorina double their... double or triple their profits, something like that. He just Wrong likes that. Though. He just likes anybody who's corporate, pro-corporate, anti-union, pro-corporate. I said to him, you know, that's J.P. Morgan. That's J.P. Morgan's uh, uh, attitude. Of course. Screwed a little guy and everything for me. Fuck. There you go. That's it. Anyway, you know what's amazing? What's amazing are the people who vote for the pro-corporate, capitalist, right-wing elitists. And they don't have a fucking pot to piss in at the same time. There you go. Isn't that, isn't that the, the most, what's the word, I, ironic? Uh, it makes, it is no common sense whatsoever. And in a sense, it's hypocritical. Yes. Absolutely. Just as hypocritical as a Republican. When he talks about squandering the taxpayer's money. <laughs> Meanwhile, there. Yeah, it's okay to do that on the military, you know, and, but not on food stamps. Well, what about give, uh, just giving money to corporations, just giving well, away that, billions? That's what I'm saying. The military, that's what you're doing. Why are we subsidizing? Why are we subsidizing the rich? Why are we subsidizing uh, Saudi Arabia? Aren't they aren't they loaded with oil money? Uh, yeah. Then I mean, you know. Yeah, and we protect them so that they don't have to have their own armies per se. I mean, they do have an army. Well, but that's what our bases, our 800 bases around the world are theoretically for. Yet every damn country where we have a base bitches about them. But it's okay if these countries do not respect human rights. Yeah. United that's States doesn't give a shit about that, right? Hell no, man. Well, they don't give Hell a shit no. about Native Americans. 
in uh, uh, up at the pipeline. What is it, North Dakota or South Dakota? It runs from North Dakota to Illinois, I believe. The Sioux, Lakota Sioux Indians. Well, in those states. The Sioux yeah. Indians. Yeah. One uh, um, um, woman, uh, a Sioux Indian woman. Uh, I think I sent you the video. She 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 stopped putting it on Facebook because Facebook kept taking it off. And she says at night on the reservation, they hear helicopters going above them, and they saw the, the helicopters spraying some kind of substance on them. So uh, it's a possibility, you know. So uh, I wouldn't put it anything past. I mean, just look at the history of what we did. And what we do Atro to atrocities. Yeah. Hey, Trump, he wants to bring back, he wants to put the Muslims in a concentration camp like we did the Japanese and uh, 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 some other. Uh, well, he doesn't group. know. He doesn't know uh, where the next uh, terrorist is going to come from. Uh, I mean, neither uh, do we. But how does that help? Well, it didn't help World War Two. Sticking all these <laughs> That's my Japanese. Uh, 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 Japanese that are totally were totally uh, many many of them were born here in the United States. I, I believe a a, a, a a George Takai as a child was in one of those. Yes, he was. His parents and yes, yeah, he, he was. was in one of those uh, concentration camps. And these are totally Americanized Japanese. And uh, I mean. Well, what? that's what racism and and and, and bigotry and uh, that stuff is. Well, they didn't put my they didn't put my relatives you know. in a concentration camp because of Mussolini, because of Italy. I mean, they didn't they didn't throw the Italians in, in a concentration camp, but they had to pick on the Asians. Maybe because the Italians were the only uh, country that ever changed sides in a war. <laughs> well, maybe because the 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 Italians uh, have round eye. No, if you look like Jack Sue from Barney Miller, you go into the concentration camp. Yeah, yeah, you know. Today, if you're part of the 1.3 billion people on Earth that are Muslims, you go yeah. into a camp. See, uh, uh, and you notice all the bitching and moaning about uh, immigrants, or as the teabaggers would say, immigrants. Immigrants. Uh, it always involves, for some reason, immigrants of color. Yeah, a, a, a darker shade of us. Uh, yeah, ev everybody. The, uh, in other words, the blame, uh, as far as all them da southern and western states, the blame seems to always be on the peoples that are darker shades than us. Yeah, they don't bitch and moan about Im immigrants from Europe. Uh, there's a lot of Polish uh, uh, immigrants uh, in the next town over from us. A large Polish. There's a lot of Poles uh, in, in Chicago, Chicago, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, they didn't bitch and moan, uh, nobody complained about those Im Im immigrants. Hmm. It was always the immigrants of color that get the blame for everything. That's it. So anyway, all I could say is uh, Donald Trump, I, I, I uh, believe you should be very, very meticulous in who you choose for your cabinet because it will come back to bite you on the ass and it, it is a reflection on you President Trump if you get if you have anybody questionable working for you at the helm well he already has three so banning the white supremacists <laughs> the racist uh, Flynn General Flynn and uh, Pompeo Oh. I believe Representative Pompeo. I used to use pom to Pompeo and olive oil. I used to use Pompeo yeah, olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better not stand uh, at the base of any volcano, I tell you that much. Yeah. Little levity. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't know, man. The more I think about it, the more I get a headache. Let us, let us begin with the... Uh, our readings for this week's progressive discussions. Well, uh, I'm going to actually, add... Actually, we're doing very good on time, probably because I got here earlier. I am going to add to your headache... Uh-oh, here it comes. ...with some trump stuffy. trump information? trump information, yes. 
Not until November 11 did I become angry. All other emotions from shock and sadness to fear and foreboding had welled up. But on Veterans Day, a man who is no veteran and with a morbidly obese ego called student protesters spoiled crybabies. So if you uh, exercise the, the, your, your First Amendment right for, for justifiable reasons, you are a crybaby. That's right. Or what did, what did Trump call them? Um, oh, um, professional. Professional uh, 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 protesters. Well, there's... Which means they're being paid. Yeah, well, there's, ar there's articles that claim George Soros paid a whole heap in helping of them well. to instigate trouble. Rudy Giuliani's <laughs> disdain like for the a, First Amendment. It's like a gremlin. And the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances is shameful. <laughs> Apparently, freedom of speech means nothing. There's no me. neck, and, and, he, and, he, and he, he vibrates his head back and forth with his eyes squinting. Unless it's his own vitriolic speech. Oh. To all the protesters out there, forsake violence, but be persistent. Keep fighting for a more perfect union wherever you can. In college classrooms, on the web, or on the streets of America. Definitely be proactive. We the people definitely stay proactive. This land belongs to all of us. It is up to the young and the brave to secure the blessings of liberty. Yeah, not the young that just want to come to rallies and turn it into Woodstock. The young that are serious about the reason why they're at the rallies. You know, for God's sakes. And then they end up not voting. Uh, yeah, they interviewed some some uh, young person the other day, and he did not vote. Did and he was at the he was at the rally. He was at the rally because he just wanted it was a place to go. He wanted a party. He wanted a they wanted a party like they did at uh, Occupy Wall Street. They they the college kids just hung out because it was something happening there with a lot of people. You know. Perhaps it is time for the media in our country to stop giving these vile and despicable protests over Donald Trump winning the election attention. Well, the media gives a lot of uh, stupid, unnecessary entities attention. Like uh, uh, anytime Sarah Palin talks or Barbara or Bachman Turner Overdrive or whatever the hell you want to call her, you know. The less notoriety these people receive, the faster they will vanish from our lives. Ignore them. There is never any justification for beating people in the street or burning and shutting down businesses just because you did not get your way. Those who don't like our country are free to leave and go someplace else. Yeah, they might go someplace a lot better, Scandinavia. Northern Europe. Um, well, they all don't forget. People are so petty and uh, uh, primitive. They they actually um, turn over cars and set bonfires when their team wins a world championship, uh, or, or when they lose. Yeah, guys in a football game. Any reason to a act, college like, football act game. like savages? Any any reason to act like savages? Yeah. I have been quietly watching listening and reading articles, particularly letters to the editor. Why are a majority of the writers in an uproar about the election? The media tend to fuel this as well. This country needs change and Donald Trump will attempt to provide it. With Hillary Clinton we would have had four more years like the last eight Granted, Donald Trump speaks his mind and sometimes puts his foot in his mouth. 
Well, that's that's true. But I firmly believe he has the country's best interest at heart. Yeah. Well, you can do what Tom Selleck did. He, he wrote in the, uh, the, uh, uh, the sheriff of Dallas, Texas, or the commissioner or some somebody uh, in charge of the uh, of police force in Dallas, Texas. To do what? As president of the United States. <laughs> he said that on The View. Tom Selleck, the actor, wrote in. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's now uh, doing a commercial for uh, for the, um, the, you know, where they uh, you get the money out of your home. Tom Selleck? Yeah. It's doing a couple, well, that's what Mr. happens. Mustache. When they get old. Yeah, Magnum P.I. Yeah, that, now he's on Blue Bloods for seven years. No, he. Uh, that's what happens when they get old. They do commercials like Robert Wagner. <laughs> My name is Even Robert. the Fonz. Yeah, Henry Winkler. He's all gray. He doesn't have. To. Actually, he looks pretty good. He doesn't have to be all gray to the, the, the Mama Luke. He can color his hair. He can get just for men and look like the Fonz and wear the leather jacket. I think people would like that. Seeing him in the leather jacket, you know, uh, wet with the black hair slicked back. The hell's the matter with you, Henry Winkler? Our country needs to be more uh, forceful. Forceful and not submit to people and other countries because it's politically correct. I am also tired of hearing about political correctness. Me too. Let's just do the right thing. Hey, this guy's a smart cookie. I believe Trump is the one to lead us in that direction. Well, I don't know. Now, now, I, now his cookie is starting to crumble. <laughs> well, let's just hope that one. It's a black and white cookie. Can we all get along, Cookie? And we got to stop sending taxpayers' money to other countries. We just can't. Look, I agree with Trump there. We can't afford this anymore. Well, that is a small part of the budget, number one. And what? Yeah, a very small part. The, 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 the hundreds of millions that go to other countries? That's no. Small? If it's 10, 10, 15 billion, it's a lot. You got. You mean collectively? The bases around the world. The countries pay us for their protection. That's what it's all about. We get their land for free. We get uh, so many amenities and etc. So it's for like free. the mob. The United States no is like the mob. No kidding. <laughs> it's, you know, yeah, when a guy comes into your store and he says, I'm going to sell you some protection. <laughs> or there was a. Um, you need protection, yeah. There was a all in the family one where uh, some put someone's put a swastika on uh, Archie's door. Yeah, and I the head that. head of one of the Jewish uh, organizations in the something uh, came league, around to uh, offer him protection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, he called him Booby. Booby, yes. And then he got blown up in his car. No, it is it some. You know who that was. That was the act, that was the actor who played Julio in Sanford and Son, and I believe he played so get, what, what's Barney name? Miller. Yeah, Barney Miller uh, Ch Chano. You remember all their names? I I, I only remember D Dietrich. The one that confuses Fish. me all the time is Ron Glass, the black guy. Sergeant oh, Harris with the fro the afro. Sergeant Harris. Sergeant Harris, Ron Glass, yeah, the smiley one. Right now on cable 114 during the week, they play two Barney Millers, and now they're playing the old ones when his wife was in it, Barbara Barry. Oh, and yeah. Jack Sue was there, and uh, Fish. Everybody. And uh, Walter Howitz. Was Walter Howitz in the, in the team at that time? Yes. Because yes. who replaced Jack Sue? Was it Dietrich? No, no, no. Dietrich was there already. I'm Dietrich trying to remember. They replaced Jack Sue. There were uh, with Chano, maybe. Could be when Ch when Could. Jack Sue died. No, uh, no, Sue and Chano are still are there in the early ones. Yeah, Sue. Sue with Fish. Sue played on the Odd Couple as a wrestler from Red China. Oh, well, speaking of wrestlers, Cy uh, Stallone was on Johnny Carson. Last night, I believe. Well, no, the night before. Johnny Carson's dead. They play it on one fourteen and ten. Oh, it TV. was a it yeah. was a Johnny Carson classic. Yeah, and yeah. at that time he made Rocky three. Oh 
with yeah. Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. And Hulk. They showed Sylvester Stallone in the ring with Hulk Hogan. Short. Hulk Hogan was like Andre the Giant. Next to Sly Stallone. Next to Sly. Honest to God. Well, they, I never knew he was that big. Well, Hollywood has a way of... Uh, well, look what they do with uh, like uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, and all them guys. You know, they don't they don't show their true height they you know yeah, well, everybody's bigger on camera anyway. yeah but not only in our height but the definition the the cut and everything i mean hulk was just massive well hulk that that was his when he was in his prime yeah yeah that's yeah. when he turned heel to to baby face he was uh he was with freddie blassie for all this time mm -hmm. he had the cape the big gold cape that i think he used as thunder lips in the rocky three I'm sorry, people. We were digressing quite a bit, yeah. but uh, I was going to say something. But anyway, I, I, I forgot. There is a pall on our democracy yeah. when a candidate wins on a platform of bigotry, recrimination, as if some banana, as if we're some banana republic. Mm. Donald Trump has succeeded in appealing to our darker side. He has divided, not unified. He has triumphed in riling up the base with such hate and rage well, and his fear. His, his rallies were representative of the darker side in all ways. But people have taken leave of their wits and humanity. True. His actions defy common decency and morality. He has chosen to abandon the very principles that inspired our ancestors yeah, what, to seek out the blessed what was what was more what was moral and decent about the entire dnc and and the, the clinton campaign it was nothing you know what i mean it's like whoever is without sin may cast the first stone well you Mr. know it's trump like, said that he if he's right he will never settle well, he just settled the suit for twenty-five million dollars of Trump University. Yeah, because he was guilty. I but mean, Trump University. He, huh? he said he would win. He also said that he was going to sue all those women who came forward. I, well, no, he said he was going to sue everybody that talked bad about him. Well, he, I only heard the women. So that's but, an awful hey, lot of people. They yeah. go broke. Yeah, you go broke, but you know, I mean, uh, and, and it's the, it's the Hillary supporters, probably the the the, the dykes and the, uh, the gays that are have been nagging President Obama to give uh, Hillary Clinton a, a total blanket pardon. From what I understand, well, at the moment she's not guilty of anything. Well, it's hard to it's hard to find her guilty of anything when the FBI uh, right. turns a blind eye. If that's what they did, Comey. we know she was careless. Comey. We know she was reckless. But is that criminal? See, that's where we are. Well, you know what? You got to be prove. You got to be proven uh, yeah. guilty. Due process. Right, that's it. You got to be proven guilty, and um, um, you know, is it possible for a court to make a decision based on sufficient evidence only, or do you still need eyewitnesses to testify? You don't need eyewitnesses. You can if you, you got, can get cases won on circumstantial evidence. Like like if what about enough, what about like hard. overwhelming evidence? Then you don't need anybody to come forth and testify. Because when they testify, they're afraid they might get bumped off. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, a lot of people don't do that. You know, because of that reason. Yeah. Especially in cases that involve uh, anything, black hand or something like that. Well, know? any yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, look, it's an evil world. I think we're living in the end times, and uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what is to become of the Trump administration. All I know is, he, <clears throat> aside from the jokes about reality shows, 
he has to be very very meticulous in who he chooses and so far he has not been well I look at it this way yeah we survived the GW Bush administration yeah yeah the uh, so uh, I believe we will survive this one. living on frickin rice and beans with no health care with less health care than we have now and the wars and the death of innocent military personnel what about to enrich a few. What about the, the death of massive amounts, unnecessary death of massive amounts of Iraqi uh, uh, civilians <laughs> well, that for is, nothing? That's right. No weapons of mass destruction. That's right. No nothing uh, um, um, no evidence speaking of evidence Bill Morrow says oh, oh I think there really is no, they'll find it they'll find it there really is weapons of didn't find it yet Bill hey how much more time are you gonna give him now he, he's a very pro-establishment man. well that's not that's not good enough it, it, it's it, it, establishment is truth. lying so then he turns around and says, what makes us think that our underground sources are telling the truth? I says, you know what, Bill? You know what? And then, you know, he says, well, your favorite multivitamin, how do you know that what is on the label is really going into your body? I says, Bill, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know. And that's why you need regulations. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean I'm not going to say you're wrong. You know, I don't know. Well, you got to be. Uh, hey, the the other day, four C uh, Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Salmonella. Cellulose and salmonella. Salmonella. Well, it's got cell. No, it doesn't. Well, have why cellulose. does that happen? I'm sorry. Four C and Rienzi do not have anti-caking cellulose. How the hell the salmonella, which is, which comes from um, usually poultry, how did it contaminate Parmesan cheese in the preparation? Hey. Because of quality control hey. or lack thereof. All these people that were buying, uh, what was it, Iams uh, pet food. I buy Iams. From China. I buy Iams. Oh, I, the best. I buy Iams. And meanwhile, their animal died uh. from the, the melamine. Pen, uh, pantomime? Palamine? Well, what? it was China. Melamine? 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 Somebody from China. Uh, melamine, yeah. It's What the hell are they getting sh uh, crap from... Mainly in China to go in Iams pet food. Well, it's like our our chickens. Our chickens we're shipping over to China, have them processed, and then they come back here. The hell do we need that bullshit for? Yeah, whatever happened to uh jobs, jobs, jobs. Yeah. Trickle, trickle dickle. Trump is also speaking trickle of Trump, down, brother. Trump is now saying that he prevented Ford from moving their uh 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 the MK, uh, the, 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 uh... Oh, the new Lincoln? The Lincoln from moving to Mexico. He prevented it, huh? Yeah, he did. So he's a super They weren't going. So he's a superhero. Yeah, exactly. But, but he, he lies. Well, that's one thing he does. He, oh, well. Well, they're fibs. They're little fibs. Maybe to him they're fibs. <laughs> but they're lies. A fib. a fib is like a white lie, right? Like a little I don't distinguish between white, black, or gray. It's a lie. Yeah. If a person lies about their age, would that con is that considered a yes. lie? No, it's not considered right. No. But it's uh, women get upset if a man lies about his age because they say they, you know, it's like, well, they're on the defensive because you're a man, so automatically you're 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 up to no good. So, but if you lie about your age, they get they get mad. But women have been lying about their age for decades. But the Ten Commandments say no, so you don't lie at all. So it's be so if you're if you're an old geezer of a hundred, <laughs> but you you're so loaded with antioxidants and uncle oxidants, and 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 you look like eh, forty five years old, you should still tell the ladies that you're a hundred. And be proud of it. Even though, yeah, but you might not get laid as much. You might not get all them young Miley Cyruses with their tongues going sideways. Well, that's that's their problem and, you know, yeah. his problem. I mean, if you tell the truth, you know, uh, um, uh, like the old saying goes, you know, uh, you can't beat 
honesty and tell them the truth. But if, but you know, like I said, you might, you might not get, you might get, not might not get laid as often. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Ugh. that's another talk show. Trump's election is a crack in the foundation <laughs> of the principles that we have always thought to be the bedrock of our nation. Tolerance, the bedcock. decency, equality, respect, and kindness. Oh, you want those things in yeah. a presidency? Yes. Good luck. In, in crapitalism? Already Trump <laughs> is casting the press as agitators of the protesters. Already he is using scapegoats and finger pointing. Once he is criticized or hey, you. humiliated, his proven defense is to vilify and silence his critics. Hey you, I'm talking to you. I got a bone to pick with you. My finger, you see my finger is pointing at you. Yeah. Yay, hey you. That's right. Anyway, go ahead. He will use court decrees executive orders Ooh. to achieve uh, this objective. I like the executive order. Can we be confident that we will always have a free press? Huh. The best and the brightest from around the world. Oh yeah, sure. You got that now. You're, the press and the media is so unbiased uh, and, and, and honest. May no longer study and live here. They may not see us as a beacon of hope and opportunity, but rather as a nation in economic, social, and moral decline. The stability and values that we projected worldwide are now questioned. No foreign power could do more to undermine America as Donald Trump's president. In the final presidential debate, Hillary Clinton promised to accept the results of the election. Oh, what else is she going to say? Now her supporters are demonstrating throughout the country. Based on her commitment, the moral and right thing to do is for Clinton to reach out to these anti-Trump demonstrators demanding that they cease their uncivil acts. As of yet, she has failed to do so. It's not gonna, they're not gonna cease if you, if you order them to cease. You gotta show them, you gotta show them, I suppose talking about Donald Trump, he's gotta show them through action, through yeah. action, that he is what he says he, he's going to be, a president for all the people. I want to apologize for that fucking noise outside. It's a leaf blower. Yeah, it, you know, it happens, today happens to be Catter Day. It's actually Saturday, but, you know, uh, Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman is a cat lover. Anyway, Catter Day, and everybody's out and about doing their shit on, ca on Saturday. So I want to apologize for the noise. Yeah. Jabronis. Leaf blower. What a stupid invention. The leaves are going to blow around anyway from the winds of November. Yeah, later today. Yeah, so they're going to blow around. They're going to blow back. Unless you're collecting, of course. The, I think landscapers have some kind of a leaf grinder vacuum. Mulch. Mul yeah, Mulch like maker. sucks the leaves yeah. up and it pulverizes them. Yeah. You know, uh, the, you know, instead of raking it like a jabroni and putting it in giant garbage bags, which is a real hump job. You can get deer tick bites too from that. As one of editorial page uh, editor Alfred P. Doblin's most appreciative readers, I was astonished to read. He considered both candidates dishonest. Yes, yes. As if there were no distinction between them. Yes, I agree. That's why you, sh you jerks should have voted for Jill Stein. 
He had one was a 30-year veteran of service to this country. Oh, God. A woman who has served as First Lady, Senator, and Secretary of State. That doesn't mean just because you're you're appointed to a high job, that doesn't mean that you were uh, good and, and, and all-inclusive at what and, you do. And the other was widely seen as a misogynist and racist was well known for not paying his business bills. Yeah, he stiffed a lot of people and he grabbed a lot of coochies. And has never served yes in any political position. Well he didn't pay he didn't pay the caterer that uh, took care of his uh, daughter Ivanka's wedding because he didn't like the food. <laughs> and then some somebody did a job Did he order a food? Yeah. Well so they have to be paid. I mean if if everybody did that the, the poor caterer will go out of business real fast, and and, and, and secondly, uh, um, the um, he told the caterer, well, you know how much business you're going to get because you did my daughter Ivanka's yeah, wedding, yeah, yeah, yeah. because of who I am, by association. That's yeah. just an excuse not to be sued. You know, that's just an excuse to get everything for free. Pretty much because they're special. He's oh, a, the oh, mega rich. The rich do not like to pay the normal price for anything. I hear they... They have to have a special. Well, they feel entitled yes. to everything for nothing. And to get their ass kissed, they also are notorious for not being uh, good tippers. <sighs> the gr they, they don't leave the adequate gratuities. Yeah, They're cheap motherfuckers. The richer they get, am I to put it in layman's terms? To put it in layman layman's terms, that's it. I am most disappointed that Doblin repeats the same false perception so typical of our timid American media. I had thought so much better of him. Now, if you'd like, I will. Uh, move on to something else right now just to break it up because yeah I got yeah we, we got bombarded with a lot of politics Yeah, because I got a, I, I got a lot more Trumpy. usually I bellyache that we don't have enough hard-hitting readings but I think I need a break my, my mind is Trumpified no it's just that I'm um, you know like too much heavy-duty negative info at once yeah, I, I want to keep my spirits up no. I don't want to look pathetic like the Bernie bird, you know, over here, poor thing. Permit me to answer a writer's wondering about where atheists go when they have trials, sickness, and death in the family. <sighs> answer. We go nowhere. <laughs> because there is no helpful place to go. And we realize we are as we are as is, as is everyone on our own, and so we must do anything that can be done. And when the atheist dies, the worms get him. The ma the maggot magnets, like my grandmother used to say, the, the, worms ma crawl in the magnets. The magnets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It, it, it. End the the end is very final with the atheist. Very final. If there were a God, I don't see what comfort he could give if someone I deeply loved was taken from me. Well, uh, if there were, there were what, there, there is a God, and uh, if the atheist uh, had proof of that, he would be, he would have the comfort of knowing that Well, he wouldn't be an atheist then. Their loved one, that he wouldn't be an atheist. Their loved one is well taken care of. If their loved one was not a no good rotten son of a bitch. But what we have is that there are God people who never prove that their God exists. And that is a big problem. Well, you can't prove religion. I mean, you have, if faith is based on hope. It's like, it's like wishful thinking. Hope, right? It's, it's... Yes. Who has really proved? anything and then if you tell the uh the scientists they'll still say you know if you tell von Dyneken you'll say uh, it's 
So all, all the angels were extra extraterrestrials. The poet Robert Frost said, "We have to die on our own. No one can help us." Yeah. And the same is true for those who grieve. Yes, this can be tough, but we find it better to do it than to turn to a deity who is called awesome, sovereign, omnipresent, but who let a loved one die. Hey, look at poor Robin Hood. He, he is now resting in an unmarked grave. No, no one knows where his true grave is. You know? If there were a deity, I would not pray to him but curse him. Well, he allows certain things to happen. Yeah, but that's life. explained. The Bible tells you I'm we are cut off from him. No. Totally. In other words, Adam and Eve, they really ticked off God big That's time correct. when they did what they did. That's correct. In other words, mankind as a whole is suffering for the sin, for the one big kahuna sin of um, Adam and Eve. That is correct. I, can't, I, I would say Eve... Eve did it first, but you know what I mean? But then again, Adam could have said, I want no part of this. You're on your own, Eve. A second question asked was, how can one say there is no God when every bird and flower shows his handiwork? Looking at a sunset gives proof there is a great... That's what Creator. That's what Ken Create tells me. That doesn't prove anything. It doesn't prove anything. What about the creation itself? The seed of the acorn turning into a thing. What and what? What about the universe itself? It just happened. From what? Shit happens. I don't know. Well, that's the point. Shit happens. <laughs> it's unexplainable as we know it. Yeah, you know. Without I mean, a creator. That's why you have a Big Bang theory. Yeah, but the Big Bang Theory gets something that bangs and becomes something else. Hey, even... How do you get that? Even some of what some, not all, even some of what Albert Einstein had said back then has uh, was proven wrong by some of the quantum physicists today. Uh, things evolve, but, but you know what? Our forefathers, you know, they laid the groundwork, the, 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 the foundation. Well, but there, no one has explained something from nothing. Like, nobody learned a lesson okay. when Martin Luther challenged the Catholic Church, right? Yeah, we did. It's called Presbyterianism. Protestants. Well, was the, he was the first to challenge the, the cult of the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah, and that became, and the, the reform movement became Protestants. Right, but then, Protestants. but then from Protestants, non-Catholics, you had uh, phony balonies popping up. Well, they're all phony balonies. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You have all these evangelists, uh, like your uh, Peter Popoffs, no, yeah. and uh, all these, uh, Joel Osteens, they're, they're all from the Protestant faith. Yeah. Evangelicals. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. When they become a, 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 a TV evangel evan evangelist shyster, I think, I think like organized religion really doesn't want to be affiliated with them, you know? Like, I mean, the ones that are taking all the donations and spending it on themselves. A lot of people come to their rallies. Still give them money. A lot of people give them money. Because they they get caught up in that prosperity preacher thing. Mm -hmm. God wants is. you to be rich, and He wants you That's to get richer right. and richer and richer and richer. But do they ever tell you that what they do is socialistic, communistic? Because they are taking other people's money and living on it. Well, the tithe. Did tell you that the tithe. Uh, they they misinterpret the the word tithe, or they dis they they corrupt the word tithe. You know, they 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 make it like you're going to get a blessing if you give. The more money you donate to my ministry, well, yeah, the more the you're going to be blessed. The tithe is supposed to go to pay for God's work. Period. There's there's the magic words. God's okay. work. 
God's work. God's work is not so you can have your private jet and live in a mansion. Yeah. High, yeah living yeah. high on a hog. Yeah. Like Boss Hog would say. <laughs> I see the pretty bird. Ooh. Hey, there it is. But I also see the hawk and other raptors that tear flesh from their prey while it is still alive. Hey, what about the uh, lions on the Serengeti Plain? They tear into that zebra or wildebeest. I see beautiful flowers. Yeah. But I also see crabgrass, stinkweed, Venus flytrap, and poison ivy. Let me tell you something, brother. Some of those weeds are very medicinal. Like purslane, perfect example. Very nutritious and dandelion. You know what I mean? And I see a sunset. But also read of a tsunami that drowns hundreds of thousands of people. Hey, I see gannets. They don't bite you, they just pester you. What on earth do they feed on? Where do they come from? I never read an article about the poor little gannet. Uh, mosquitoes, they're bloodsuckers, parasites, ticks. Ticks, fleas, lice. They're parasites. Why did God create the parasite? They don't serve any useful purpose. You know what I mean? We can go on and on and on and on. It is easy to believe in a God if one looks at just the right things. Uh, but harder if we look at the whole picture. Uh, and it isn't right to say, well, but God didn't make those things. Just read the biblical John who wrote, without him was not anything made that was made. That's very possible. Or, John you, also, 1, verse 1. or you also have to respect the scientists when they said maybe humanity and society as we know it and this, our civilization was all, is all a big extraterrestrial experiment. Well, that, that is obviously not proven because you would have not them yet. here. Where are they? Now they're shy. No, shy my ass. They show up once in, uh, you know, a couple thousand years, and then uh, they're they're superior to us and everything. But they're not here. Well, because they're the the planet Earth is a big reality show to them. They're being entertained. They probably have a, have a rating system right now. Oh. I actually saw that on South Park episode of South Park. You know, uh, advanced extraterrestrials you. Uh, Use the Earth as a um, as a big like, a zoo. Re reality, yeah, a a zoo, big zoo, reality yeah. show in a zoo. Yeah. I do God a favor, and don't believe in him. That's rather arrogant of him. He uh -huh. sounds like a bitter person. Atheism and agnosticism. Numbers are most rapidly growing. Well, Belief groups worldwide. Freedom of religion also implies freedom from religion. Well, a lot of cultists too popping up, unfortunately. As a humanist, satanic cultists. I choose to believe in good in our world. Well, then you're Pollyanna if you believe if you believe totally, totally in, in goodness uh, in everybody. One does not need imaginary gods and false images to be honest, truthful, kind, and lawful. Over the course of history, organized religion has been responsible for most wars and genocide. I agree. Perhaps a shift to logical thinking will finally allow lay atheists to come out of the closet. When a person is delusional, he or she is diagnosed as psychotic. When a group of people are delusional, it is called a religion. Why do people uh, only think about the Lord uh, on religious holidays? You know, they don't practice it all year round. Uh, you know, or or those that go through the motions and they go to church uh, once a week, all dressed up, and their Sunday go to meet and close, and they but, all they're all friendly in the church, and then as soon as they but, leave. 
kaput. They do not historically follow back the origin of true religion and true holidays, God-given. The original ones. Yeah. They don't do that. No. They stop somewhere around, I don't know, 60, 70 uh, A.D. after Jesus died. Yeah, yeah. well, when Emperor... And the rise of the... Emperor Constantine. What became the Roman Catholic Church. Simon Magus and yeah. uh, Emperor Constantine converted uh, pagan holidays into now, uh, now early as Christian as they go holidays. Back, yeah. yes. Early Christian holidays. You have Easter is actually Ishtar, you know, so on and so on. Then you have Brum, uh, Saturnalia, Brumalia, and the uh, um, the Teutonic um, holiday of... Um, uh, the Yule, the god of Yule, which which is where the word Yule, Yule, hey, Yule. came Go from. Go to Well, the Yule, it's uh, it's depicted as a... Yule log. Uh, uh, they have a man's face with, with a long, like, white beard and long hair, kind of like Santa Claus looking guy, and uh, he's covered with holly, and they call that the Yule, Yule. Yeah, I mean, they're all, they're all based on paganism. But they don't go far back enough. And then the United States, okay. the United States, yeah. probably the, the you know Jews uh, control retail industry. They 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 make money off of all these uh, pagan based holidays. Yeah, that's what they're for. Yeah, they retail, the retail. Market. Bing, bing, market. Now we got Christmas commercials way before Thanksgiving. Yeah, they way started before, already. Way before you tasted the uh, the tradi pie. The, the the traditional turkey. The toiki before toiki, you say, mashed potatoes, gravy, screw the mashed sauce. potatoes. I love them. You're gonna get if you're giving me yams. Why the hell am I? Why do I need the extra carbs in mashed potatoes? I'll take them both. Now, too many carbs. I'll take you them. You got to start eating properly, young man. Portion size. Oh, okay. You don't have to eat all. You know, a big bunch of carbs. I may on my plate. There is always more meat. Than size. Me too. I love turkey. Okay. I love turkey. Uh, I I need gravy because I like the breast meat, but you gotta have gravy on it because I like. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to cook it breast down to see if the old bag on TV commercials right about self basting. If you cook the turkey with the breast down, the fat from the dark meat seeps down onto the breast and the breast sits in the drippings. You understand, son? Yes, that sounds good. And if you happen to do Louisiana style deep fried turkey outside, oh because boy. if you do it inside, it's suicide. Be careful. Be careful. Do not, and I repeat, do not ever place a frozen turkey in the hot oil. And if you do so, and and your house catches on fire, and and your relatives uh, are hit by the blazing flames, you'll think of what I said. The One letter writer says that Thomas Jefferson respected Jesus Christ as a great philosopher, but that he was not God. No, of course not. That's why he wrote his Bible without the miracles and all the other stuff. The Jefferson Bible. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I will not, and I repeat, not ever, never, ever shop on Thanksgiving Day. Do not, do not condone and support what about Black Friday? retail greed. Black Friday? I don't shop on Black Friday. Indeed. We think I'm nuts. Exactly. Exactly. I know. I don't like crowds and traffic and all that and long lines. Yeah. Well, I buy thing. I buy everything online anyway. Google shopping, Amazon, eBay. You think I go to these retail stores? All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. The problem with that is Jefferson. throughout Scripture, he claimed to be the Son of God and received worship. Who wants to follow a teacher who might make claims of deity? That could be either false or true, but not at the same time, as that would not be possible. Another writer holds the idea of ethical living as unique in comparison to religious beliefs because of the respect and meaningfulness 
it encourages without the dogma of theology. Where did the idea of caring for and respecting others come from? And why pursue it? No, it's just the right thing to do, and it's a, uh, it's a, you know, it's things like empathy and compassion, and they should naturally come out of a normal human being's mind. Even Purpose does not happen accidentally. Hmm. All religions have nice people, even uh, even people uh, that we call primitive that live in. Uh, Borneo or Sumatra, mm -hmm. they, you know, they even will give you a very friendly greeting. Hello. Yeah, I mean, no, there's a lot of there's a lot of good people that are that are that are kind from other other religions, other faiths. You know, it's just uh, a normal person who's not screwed up in the head usually is that way. Okay. Hopefully. You ready for a break? Sure. You ready for an invigorating because, break? Because this is a little longer. Okay. You're going to need that, that, that uh, urinal. Oh. So, um, it's a joke. It's a little private joke. Anyway, we'll see you after lunch. Um, we have a new promo uh, made by yours truly, James P. Madonna. And we have some very interesting uh, banners for you to hit the pause button and read. One of them cool. proves... Without a shadow of a doubt, Hello. that trickle-down economics is not going to work. If that has not been proved by now, you better forget it's it. It's a bunch of hogwash, bal balderdash. Balderdash. Yeah, and the, and the person who made the statement that proves my point is none other than that uh, piece of shit scumbag uh, CEO of uh, Papa John's Pizza. Oh, my God. That piece that of shit. Idiot. Yeah, the, the, exactly. he's not even Italian. He's, uh, I should have wrote down his name. His name is Papa Jack. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's kind of like a Jew name. Ah. Motherfucker. All right, we'll see you. Boy, Bernie Bird looks so happy when he's with us. Nah. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com.
Okay. How, how the hell are you? How the hell are you, man? We're back. How the hell are you? You know, um, I was watching um, Mysteries at the Museum, and they were. And you, did you know there was actually more than one? There was actually more than one Tokyo Rose during World War II. It was like a, a se it was several of them, and they uh, they hey. just spoke English. If they were successful, you know, I guess they hired a couple other ones. Actually, one of the to the Tokyo Rose that they, the United States uh, arrested and threw in federal prison for ten years, she was in. She was a. Um, she was a Japanese American that was visiting Japan uh, during the time when they attacked Pearl Harbor, and and then she couldn't go back. Yeah. So they, the Japanese government said. Uh, they recruited her. Yeah, they recruited her. Anyway, they had several of them, mm. you know. And Tokyo Rose is a nickname given by the troops, the U.S. troops. She used to say stuff <laughs> like, "Your your your wives are cheating on you right now." Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bring I guess uh, to bring morale down, right? Well, yeah, to make them fear. To bring morale down, to make them to 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 break down their their general mental uh, state Absolutely, of mind. Absolutely. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, they also found 20 miles of tunnels in the Austrian Alps near that lake where uh, von Ribbentrop had his getaway mansion. Uh, they, they, they were, uh, during World War II, that's where they were doing um, experiments on the jet aircraft that they just were starting to develop, the Germans, in the tunnels. And then I heard Japan had their jet aircraft also in mountainous tunnels. But, but when they came out with the jet technology, <coughs> it was like, you know, when they perfected the rocket. The V-1 and the V-2 it, rocket. It was towards the end of the war. Yeah. So, I mean... Yeah, well, that's why that's why the German scientists um, were very much responsible for both the Soviet Union and the United States. As, uh, well, all through history, Germany has been science. a yes, exactly, a star in science. In science, well, yeah. Martin Luther was was even German. <coughs> Martin Luther, I mean, any, any, intellect, anything, any in, intellectual endeavor. They have always been superstars. You know, um, across the board. Okay, let us continue. Uh, I know you had a a big whopper before we went to lunch. Yeah. And of course, we might get criticism for getting up and taking a break, but that's too fucking bad. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Elated! Congressional Republicans pledged swift action on Wednesday oh, gosh. on President-elect Donald Trump's agenda as they heralded an extraordinary new era of unified GOP control in Washington. Yeah, that means uh, kill off the poor. He just earned a mandate. House Speaker Paul Ryan of Wisconsin declared, We are going to hit the ground running. Yeah. Gee, I wonder what they're so enthusiastic about. Said the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky. We would like to see the country go in a different direction. Different. And intend to work with him to change the course for America. Yeah, the course for America to benefit whom? Well, you know, it's strange, but I didn't see one Democrat stand up and say we are going to make Donald Trump a one-term president no they we will give him nothing they're all saying that they they want to they want to work with him exactly. and you see the difference in, in attitude and and the Democrats continue with this damn 
pandering, pacifist, politically correct, kumbaya way of thinking, you know, even though uh, they're corporatists today, uh, they, they, they just don't go for the throat uh, like the right wing does. The right wing goes yeah, right for the weak jugular. Need, weak need. Uh, pigeon livered. Uh, weak uh, need. Uh, yeah. Um, pusillanimous pipsqueaks. Republicans saw their majorities in the House and Senate reduced, but not by much. As Democrats' hopes of retaking Senate control vanished. Duh. Yeah, because of all the stupid teabaggers out there in, in America. And though Ryan and McConnell both had well-publicized reservations about Trump, both were quick to declare that the newly elected president deserved the credit. Donald Trump pulled off an amazing political feat. He deserves tremendous credit for that, said Ryan who initially refused to endorse Trump <clears throat> and only last month declared he'd no longer defend him. Well, Ted Cruz said, no, I'm not, I'm not endorsing him either. Yeah, well, now he's sucking up to him. Maybe he wants, a, he wants to be appointed. After what he said about his wife and all the other shit, now he's sucking up he's to him. He's ready to suck ass, yeah. yeah. He deserves tremendous credit. Ryan, who initially refused to endorse Trump and only last month declared he'd no longer defend him, it helped us keep our majorities. But it also showed the country that people don't like the direction we're going. No, they they rather um, they rather starve to death on, on, in the streets. Well, they didn't like that too much by uh, voting for Bernie, did they? Anyone change enough? No, the American to vote for Bernie. The American people. Uh, well, the, hey, the DNC hasn't learned their lesson either. They they seem to be holding on to um, um, candidates that are very much. Uh, establishment corporatists and and, pos and also with uh, tainted backgrounds uh, they're, they're not they haven't learned their lesson the American people are uh, you would think they suffered long enough to learn their lesson no no oh, they're fed up with that shit passive passive is passive but they like the idea of blaming people of color Im immigrants of color they love that they love the scapegoat uh, 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 Muslims and Mexicans, you know, immigrants of color. They love it. They relish it. First up would be repealing President Obama's health care law. Sure. Why? Hey, what do we need health care for? Let, let, let the poor drop dead. Who needs a dentist? Nah, let their teeth fall out. Ooh. Something Republicans have already shown they can get through Congress with just a narrow Senate majority. Yeah. What they haven't done is unite around a plan for ensuring that the 20 million who achieved health care coverage under the landmark law don't lose it. Oh, by the way, is Chuck Schumer uh, standing up uh, as a voice for the Democrats, or has he yes, been? Yes, he is now the minority leader in right. the Senate. And so it's him and Bernie Sanders are the only ones that have the balls to stand up to anything. Well, well, mostly Bernie. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but there's another independent in there, and I don't know exactly who it is. I mean, Bernie there's said... two independents in the Senate. Yeah. Bernie said on The View, we're, we're going to hold him... Donald Trump accountable for everything he promised, everything he said. Good. But, Bernie, you can't be by yourself up there screaming and yelling. That's for sure. And waving man. your hands around. You got to. That's the last 30 years, you know? Yeah. How did it get you? Well, it got, it, got, it got him. You know what? It didn't get him anywhere because everything he said for the last 30 years did, did not end up on mainstream media. That's correct. Uh, so unless you... I don't even know if C-SPAN shows showed what Bernie said over the last. Probably years. did, but who the hell watches C-SPAN? 
nobody exciting does. <laughs> no, nobody, nobody that of any interest. You know, usually. <laughs> oh man, Republicans also celebrated the opportunity to fill existing Supreme Court vacancies and potentially more to come. Yeah. With constitutional conservatives. There should be freaking. Uh, there should be term limits on everybody. Including them. McConnell was being widely praised for his strategy, once seen as risky, of refusing to act on Obama's nominee to replace Justice Antonin Scalia, who died Listen, last February. The Republicans, they just want slave labor, no benefit. They want to bring back the Industrial Revolution be before unions. They want to bring back. They want you to just drop dead on the job, you know, and and work for nothing. I think yeah, they well, they want, don't they don't want you to have any power in a job. Well, the, that's the, 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 the the boss wants to give you a job. That's it. You take what he's going to give you, and that's it. Right, and, and because you, you, there's nothing else. You got no rights. There's nothing to fall back on. Union, you know, unions were once called communists, just like the NAAC, yeah. NAACP. Uh, the, uh, uh, sessions called communist organizations. Yeah, the black organizations. And now Double he's up to be uh, uh, the attorney general or whatever. Sessions. Hey, recently I was reading an article about a man that was arrested for uh, hanging the American flag upside down out of uh, a, a protest for eminent domain. He was protesting eminent domain, and they arrested him for that. So I guess, I guess there's no more First Amendment. Uh, well, they sure like to do away with it. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I mean, they like to do away with it. You know, I mean, protesting uh, without violence is part of the First Amendment. And if you ha if you don't have the money to take the case to court, you lose anyway. Because justice is not free in America. Okay, they you have to pay for it. They, and, and like Bernie Sanders says, the United States is the only country in the world where you. Where where they don't provide free health care? Well, well I, actually, he's wrong. I, Latin America doesn't provide free health care. Some like of them do. Colombia yeah, is like they're really capitalist. You got to pay out of pocket for every friggin' thing. Like it's it's a, it's a Republican's dream when you have to pay out of pocket for every damn thing, every damn thing. I mean that sucks. That. A country like that, a system like that, really, really sucks. You know how much, how how superior Northern Europe is to our uh, 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 right-wing uh, capitalist system. You don't see Scandinavians uh, migrating to the U.S. The last time I heard about them coming here is <laughs> is way before I was born. When the when the uh, lumberjacks went to uh, Minnesota, the the Swedish, the, the Scandinavian lumberjack people, you know Paul Bunyan's time. That's it. The they got it good over there. Fur trappers. Fur trappers. They got it great over there. What am I saying? Yeah. Germany too has has a, has a pretty good system. Well, we're trying to destroy it. Trudeau. Yeah. Prime Minister of, of Canada. We're sticking our noses is very, in those systems, to, you know. He's very progressive. Mr. To, Trudeau uh, is very progressive. Try to screw them up. Yeah. Yeah. Sabatucci? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's up to those people to do what uh, they've been doing, like when they threw out Monsanto, is to say no. Get yeah. the hell out. But a lot of this stuff is done on the secrets. Yeah. And the people don't know what's going on, you know? So e even though Bill Morrow calls Vladimir Putin a scumbag, you know, I told him, that man really goes to bat for the Russian people. You ought to tell Billy, is Billy, uh, oh, you don't go on, a, in, in, on the internet. No, you know, he doesn't. He, he watches CNN. Yeah. Because if he would go on the internet and look up uh, uh, Gary uh, Kasparov, the world champion chess player that was once, and he ran against Putin. And he'll tell you what Putin really is. He don't like him too much? It's not a matter of like, it's what he really is. What is he? KJB killer! Well, but he, he kicked out the um, 
he kicked out the the Rothschilds, you know, all the the big international banksters. He kicked them out of Russia. He kicked out you Monsanto. Why? why? Because they sanctioned him. Americans have sanctions. America has sanctions on him right now. In other words, they try they try to uh, squeeze him out. They try to take they try to make him impotent, take his power away. Oh, yeah. Oh, not not because he was necessarily thinking about the good the goodwill of the the uh, the Russian people. No, no, no. So it's all about me, 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 power, selfish. And remember, Putin was already president. And then he gets meditative, whatever his guy's name was, to get in there for four years or six years or whatever it is for the president over there. And then he runs again against Kasparov. And so he was like taking a vacation. He was president, that's but he was right. elected. So he delegated. He, in other words, he couldn't run consecutive. So he so ran behind another guy. You know, He's a smart cookie. Exactly. He's a smart cookie. He's a black and white <laughs> cookie. You ever see them black and white cookies? I never liked them. I don't like them, but I'd see them, you know? Black on one side, white on the other. I like oatmeal raisin. I like a good chocolate chip. A good chocolate chip. Not not, not cheap crap you see in a supermarket. Mm. But a good one. And ah, gingerbread, uh, ginger, yeah, a, a real uh, ginger cookie. <clears throat> and Republicans have pledged to try to unwind any number of executive moves by Obama, including tougher clean air rules on power plants, looser restrictions on travel to Cuba, and tougher rules on sleep for long-haul truckers, among others. Every single one that's sucking the very life out of our economy. GOP Senator David Perdue of Georgia said in an interview. You see those, this is how they think of those good things in in uh, people's benefit. They're sucking the life out of our economy, all these regulations. Anything that helps the little guy yeah. is, is no good for a Republican. That's correct. How, I'm trying to understand the whole psychology of greed. How the fuck could a person who's a multi-billionaire, and some of them in Washington are, considered billionaires, how could you not have enough and not be satisfied and not be happy? I don't understand. You're an old geezer. Hey. You're an old geezer. How much do you want? How much do you want? You're an old, you got one foot on a banana peel and one foot in the grave. Uh, Mitch McConnell looks like a wrinkly old freaking turtle. Oh, oh, that's another thing. Americans bitch and moan all the time on social media, uh, in the barbershop, everywhere. But they re-elected the incumbents again. They keep on re-electing the incumbents at every single election. I don't want to hear diddly dick from anybody who complains. that threatened to wipe away key areas of progress, highlighted by Democrats under the Obama administration. The system is no good. It's no damn good. Some of Trump's goals could be harder to achieve. A wall on the southern border is estimated to cost 10 to 20 billion dollars that Congress may be unlikely to provide given that cooperation for Democrats would be necessary. <sighs> Indeed, the Senate Democratic minority stood as the only legislative barrier to Trump's goals, since 60 votes are required for most consequential moves in the Senate. 60 votes. Um, well, Trump, but President Trump should should uh, stop being so damn nice to the Republicans because uh, many of the promises that he has made even recently are are not um, right wing friendly. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, you know, allocating money 
for America's uh, rebuilding America's infrastructure and the rail system, which is horrible. I mean, the the whole world has the bullet train. I think even China has the bullet train, yes. probably the best bullet train in the world with yes. their economy. And I mean, the United States has what? Amtrak. <laughs> Amtrak and CSX, yeah. You know, things, you know, piece of crap. Put, 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 put. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Anyway, go ahead. Welfare reform. Welfare reform? They're already giving people $140 a month in New Jersey. Lousy chump change of 140 a month. What reform? You mean That means do away with it, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Where are you going to get them door jobs out there, uh, Republicans? Where are them door jobs? May be the last great bipartisan success story. Bipartisan. It was enacted in 1996 <sighs> by a Republican Congress led by Newt Gingrich and by Democratic President Bill Clinton in response to decades of public frustration with the U.S. system of aid to the poor. You know what? I, I'm, I just got a light bulb over my head. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start blaming the corporate whore U.S. media more than the American voter because if the corporate whore U.S. <laughs> media was truly uh, unbiased, and you would have saw Jill Stein in the presidential debates. You would have saw three individuals debating instead of just two. The people didn't get to know the outside uh, the option. That is correct. They did not get to know Jill Stein. They get. They did. They did not. They, many people are not even aware of the Green Party. I bet. No. This is the problem. The media. The media. Is um, you know, I mean, those that are that are so old-fashioned that they don't believe in um, going online with the computer, you know. And I know somebody like that, you know, uh, still believes American media is American journalism is unbiased. It's, <laughs> it's a stupid horse's ass way of thinking. But I know somebody who is like that. At the time, the law had liberal enemies, some of whom resigned from Clinton's administration in protest of his signing it. Yeah, sign away what, Glass Steagall? Welfare oh. Reform 1996 with Newt Gingrich. On top of Glass, getting rid of Glass Steagall, yeah. Glass Steagall was 1999. Welfare reform uh, is a fancy way of saying screw the little guy, screw the poor. Those enemies have grown in number in recent years. In part that's because the Democratic Party has moved leftward generally and decided that past compromises can now be revisited. Liberals have grown, I don't know where this guy believes that Democrats have moved left That'll be the day. Liberals also grow, have grown more and more convinced over time that the welfare reform was a disaster for the poorest among us. You and know, therefore a moral disaster for the nation as a whole. I remember that uh, time in history and uh, the only jobs I saw that were supposedly uh, stimulated by the Clinton administration, uh, uh, Bill Clinton, were, were hamburger flipping jobs. Yeah, but there were 22 million of them. <laughs> and there were a lot in... Uh, oh, sock away that money with that minimum wage job. Hey, they were a lot in uh, the internet, too. And then when the internet went bust, <laughs> you know, the bubble that when they oh went yeah down there the was uh, yeah like like uh, Craigslist employment uh, help wanted this that blah 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 the Sunday newspaper uh, you know at that time had a lot of jobs I think there were several pages of the help, yeah, help everybody wanted. wanted a website help wanted yeah 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 
For their side, many conservatives have pronounced the system a failure as well, claiming that its safety net features have done little to affect poverty rates. The good news is that claims on both sides are almost certainly wrong. Scott Winship, a careful researcher, at the conservative Manhattan Institute has a new report arguing that welfare reform deserves to be remembered fondly. What? It imposed work requirements Fuck you. on many welfare recipients well, not you, I mean the Republican and gave states more flexibility in how they spent their welfare funds. What about how you spend the tax money uh, on, on, on uh, uh, Corporate subsidies and 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 uh, uh, free 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 welfare for the rich, huh? Winship concludes that child poverty has fallen since its enactment and is now at an all-time low. Get the fuck out of here. He finds similar trends for households in deep poverty defined as having less than half the income that puts you at the poverty line. Poverty is not at an all-time low. His most provocative claim concerns extreme poverty, defined as having less than two dollars a day to live on. Yeah, the homeless, right? A 2015 book by sociologist Catherine Eden and Luke Schaefer reinforced liberal opinion against welfare reform by arguing that it has led to a sharp increase in the percentage of children living in such a condition. And gee, why do you think kids turn to, to gangs? Gee, I wonder why. Or to, or to uh, making money uh, illegally. Not only does Winship provide data denying that this increase has occurred, he finds that practically no children in the United States live in extreme poverty. Really? Or did so at the time welfare was reformed. Really? The Census Bureau's, well, I would question that. He works for the conservative Manhattan Institute. What do you expect out of there? Does he ever visit the ghettos of the United States? Or the Heritage Inf Institute or all the, you know, these conservative nah, things. I just want to sweep. What the hell do you expect from them? Nah, they want to sweep the poor <coughs> under the carpet. Yeah. No, nah, he he's not going to visit these areas. The Census Bureau's official measurements show only modest improvements in child poverty since 1996. Winship argues that a more accurate measure of trends should take account of the non-cash benefits that poor households receive, such as food stamps. We should also place some economic value on these households' health care benefits. He makes a strong case that the inflation measures of the Congressional Budget Office and the Federal Reserve are superior to the one used by the Census Bureau because the Census Bureau overstates inflation. It underestimates improvements in poor people's purchasing power. That's a big bullshit because the CPI is already rigged. Not in favor of the little guy. No, we're being lied to left and right. Actually the history books I grew up with were a waste of taxpayers money. They were all crap. When he adjusts the data in these and other ways, Winship finds that 13.1% of children lived in poverty in 1996, while 7.8% did in 2014. Gee, I wonder if anybody stood up and screamed at this guy when he made all these statements. The most recent year with available data. The families that Eden and Schaefer profiled are living in harrowing conditions as Winship acknowledges but he provides evidence that very few households 
have to get by on less than two dollars a day. Why don't they just cut? Does it just call the guy what he is? He's a fucking liar. It's a situation so rare as to make it impossible to determine reliably whether it has grown or is less prevalent, let alone whether welfare reform caused whatever change occurred. Winship notes that the deep poverty trends, again that's for households at half the poverty line, improved more for children of single mothers than for other groups. Since welfare reform disproportionately affected children in single mother households, that pattern adds to the evidence that the law did not cause deep poverty to rise. It makes it less plausible that welfare reform caused extreme poverty to rise. While the paper undermines the liberal conventional wisdom on welfare, it also casts doubt on some of conservative talking points. Many on the right like to say we had a war on poverty, and poverty won. Winship's data suggests that poverty would have been worse without the safety net. Winship also stresses that welfare reform was enacted alongside an expansion of the earned income tax credit, which made work pay more for many households. There is certainly room to argue that we should be doing more to fight poverty in America and doing a better job of allocating public resources, but Winsome's, Winship's paper makes a powerful argument to do so. We should build on the success of welfare reform rather than to try to reverse it. You know, why, listen, why, why give a, a corporation in America any money at all if they outsource American jobs. I mean, how are we, we're, we're rewarding, we, we are rewarding uh, America's uh, top 1% for um, screwing the country over, pretty much. But that's what the country's based on. So they're not paying taxes, plus they're outsourcing American jobs. Then they get rewarded yeah. for doing that by get receiving uh, 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 tax money yeah. just handed to them. But if the little guy receives a lousy hundred and forty dollars a month, oh, it's oh, it's it's terrible. We need to reform that. Yes. You know, it's like. That's everything is you know geared to that. They wanted that. The, I believe that there is an elitist depopulation plan. I believe the conspiracy theories on that. Well, a lot of people believe the the rich and the corporations when they say they are the job creators. What jobs? And see, not the seventy see, percent of small see, business. If people. you're going to believe a uh, little slogans and phrases that are like cliche from you know uh, the Reagan uh, era you have to the proof has to be in the pudding if there's no proof in the pudding why are you still believing in this bullshit about trickle-down economics when you know everything's being outsourced now a bigger problem than <clears throat> the American media is the fact that the Bernie Kratz the former Bernie Kratz just gave up. They simply gave up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They, uh, uh, what, what Bernie Sanders did is they saw that, they were very hurt by it, they were very shocked by it, and they simply gave up. Capitulated. They, uh, that was it. They didn't go anywhere. They didn't go to Jill Stein, they didn't go anywhere. And uh, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, if you're if you're gonna really dig deep, Bernie Sanders is re is really uh, 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 plays a big role in um, in Donald Trump being the president now. Bernie Sanders hmm. 
didn't realize how many people were following him and sent, sending him money and all that and people coming to his rallies and he just did an about face and and these these all these voters just simply uh, gave up and had nowhere to go nowhere to go and or now, they thought so and now Bernie <laughs> Sanders me. has the book and uh, he's got the book and the book sounds really good but if you're endorsing if you endorse Hillary Clinton what does that make everything in your book or everything you've said about her when you were campaigning right it's like it makes him a hypocrite that's correct it makes him a hypocrite I know he was right many many months ago when he said you know uh, I'm still a politician I'm a poli politician Bernie you're absolutely right you are a politician <laughs> I, I, you know I, I, he said he he was a politician that's not a, a complimentary thing to no. say about yourself. I am a politician, but I'm not... Even Trump is saying he's not a politician. I'm not establishment. Trump says he's not a politician. Yeah. And he says, Trump says he's not establishment. Yeah. But if you're making nice, nice with Paul Ryan, that's pretty establishment to me. Yep. You know? And, and, you're, and you're appointing people that are um, establishment and have negative backgrounds so uh, that's that I mean uh, how are we doing on time well we can go one more if you think so mm. uh, <coughs> all right all right we could do it next time you step up to the register beware of the cashier promising freebies in exchange for signing up for a store credit card I don't I don't, I, don't need, I don't need that any of that trouble. Interest rates on cards issued by the nation's largest retailers are averaging 23.24% interest. And listen very carefully, viewers. Be very, very careful of store gift cards from re the retail uh, companies because they have an expiration date. Why would a gift card that you paid cash for and has the value of the card or the cash? Yeah, the value of the cash paid for the gift card is in the card. How could a gift card <coughs> that you paid for have an expiration date? Decline in value, yes. To me, that means the uh, retail company is stealing your money. Bingo. It is stealing. So, being that the pagan Christmas season uh, 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 with the greedy retail companies is, is, is very close upon us, I just want to give you that tip about retail company gift cards. And, um, uh, all right, go, go ahead, go ahead. It's the highest rate since the website started tracking the rates in 2008 when they averaged 18.28%. Overall, the average for all types of credit cards is 15.22%. With their outrageously high rates, most consumers would be wise to steer clear of these cards unless they are 100% certain they can pay their balance off every single month. So consider this last reading of this week's show, Our Chisler's Hall of Shame, the retail companies in America. The survey reviewed 68 credit cards offered by 44 retailers. Nearly half of those store branded cards carried an annual percentage rate of at least 25%. Among the stores with the highest rates were Big Lots, 29.99%. Zales, 29.24%. Oh, Zales, fine jewelry industry, one of the biggest ripoff scams in retail. And Staples, 28.24%. They have some fucking nerve, Zales, because you know what kind of markup they make on fine oh, jewelry? Oh, diamonds, are you not? Are oh, you kidding? Oh, we finish. 
I'm mean? glad you said the word Zale. I want to I want to edu educate edu educate you people on on, on uh, diamonds. Go ahead, finish up. Oh, I thought you were gonna be educated. Oh, I thought you want to finish up. I won't forget. Well, I'll do it now while you're what we're talking it's about. It's a little uh, involved. Oh, jeez, okay. It's Those a, high rates look even worse considering that interest rates in general have been hovering at record lows since the Federal Reserve cut the federal funds rate to near zero at the end of 2008, where it remained until seeing a tiny quarter point boost in December of last year. The chief reason that retailer cards tend to charge higher rates so than general purpose it, cards is, is to compensate for the risk involved oh. with extending instant approval at the register. Oh, poor things. The main lure among star card, store cards is an immediate 10% or 15% discount at the checkout. Big fucking deal. As a bonus for signing up. They jack up the 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 suggested retail selling price anyway, which is another scam, the, the, the retail selling price. While the discount might pay off on a major purpose, such as a refrigerator, most shoppers can get better rewards with a general purpose card. Gen uh, suggested retail selling price, yeah. Bonuses you get with a store card can't compare so you're better off shopping around for another card. Sign up bonuses have gotten sweeter in the last couple of years <laughs> as card issuers compete for the best customers. For example, the Chase Freedom Unlimited card offers a $150 cash back bonus for spending $500 in the first three months. Percentage-wise, a store credit card can't come close to that offer. The Chase card also carries an introductory interest rate of 0.0% for the first 15 months, which rises to between 14.24 and 23.24%, mm -hmm. depending on the customer's credit worthiness. It's important that people don't get pressured into making a bad choice. If you are interested in an offer, take a brochure and take it home and read it. If you're still interested, apply the next time you go to the store. <laughs> now getting back to fine jewelry industry, Zales, uh, K Jewelers, Jared, which I hate, hate those commercials. Um, diamonds. The De Beers Diamond, Diamond Mining Company in South Africa, they, <coughs> they deliberately hold back on the exportation of the diamonds that they're mining because there are so many uh, diamonds that are being mined that if they exported the diamonds as they were being mined, the uh, value of the diamond would cause it no longer to be a precious gem because in reality the diamond is not anymore a precious gemstone it's a it's all a game they make it like that they make it that you know by uh, they get the right people to to cut to degrade the diamond and cut it and this and that and you know a cubic zirconia is more perfect looking and more beautiful than a real diamond anyway but the point is that it's controlled, so the the diamond is not a precious gem stone in reality, and uh, the markup is uh, uh, enormous on this this jewelry. Then they have the nerve to want 28 or 29 percent, I believe, uh, for their uh, store credit card on top of what they're doing. Yeah, and uh, that's that. Now. So, Shizzler's Hall of Shame is about the retail uh, industry <coughs> in the United States. Uh, you will see some interesting, uh, you already saw some interesting uh, related banners uh, uh, before the promo during our lunch break. And um, that's our Chisler's Hall of Shame.
Now, is this the, uh, uh, can we say that this is the official uh, Thanksgiving Day 2016 show? Because Thanksgiving Next Day Thursday. is Thursday. It's always on a Thursday. Usually rains, too, on Thanksgiving. But, uh, yes, this is our official uh, Thanksgiving Day 2016 show. It is Thanksgiving, maybe for the Puritans, but not for the Native Americans of the Northeastern United States after they got fucked, as usual, by the... Um, the colonists, the uh, the English colonists of the Northeast. So um, that's that. But I do like turkey <coughs> quite a bit. And uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. What can I say? Um, what can I say? What can I say, man? And after after uh, next week will officially be the um, the. Uh, 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 well, I don't say Merry Christmas. I say uh, a Merry Krampus Day and Happy Festivus. And I will be talking about the evils, more evils of the greedy uh, American retail industry with Black Friday and uh, I call it Black Saturday because you know what? People, I think people are out full force on the Saturday after Friday. They are really, especially those that are that are um, have to work on Black Friday, you know. But they're all going to be out there on uh, next Saturday. So all the fools, all the fools, <clears throat> do what I do. Go online, go to Google Shopping, put in lowest lowest to highest price, and and they'll take you whoever has the best price, regardless. You know, it'll take take you right there. All right, and and always look for free shipping, because there is more and more free shipping available every year. Uh, gotta love online shopping. Yeah. Uh, oh, for those of you that are wondering what the hell I've been swinging around during the show, this is an official weapons grade, a good luck Blackthorn Shillelagh from Ireland, and uh, there are are many people that uh, are candidates for this thing to. Uh, collide with their cranium. All right, we'll see you. Happy Thanksgiving again. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. And all that good stuff. Bye-bye.